We're live. Hey, how you guys doing? Welcome to the show. It's Monday, June the 4th, 2018. Welcome back to Traveling with Bruce. I'm your host, Bruce. <laughs> how you been? Good to see you guys. I uh, hope you had a good weekend and uh, hope your weather's doing all right. Here in Creston, we are getting rain today. We're only about 54 degrees and uh, it's cooling off, uh, but it's warming up uh, the next couple of days. So it should be all right. But at the moment, eh, not so great. Um, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take it. We had a beautiful weekend here, beautiful weather, Saturday, Sunday. I went to Costco with the wife, Jen, Jennifer Aniston, lookalike wife, and I went to Costco Saturday afternoon after the show and uh, got myself a chicken bake. She got herself a hot dog and uh, even had room for a bit of a very, very Sunday, and that was awful darn delicious. I got to tell you, picked up some cheap gas, relatively speaking, uh, 297.9 at Costco in Idaho. What's gas in your hometown? Kind of curious, what's the price of gasoline where you guys live? Because 297 in uh, Coeur d'Alene, Costco. Here in Creston, uh, 135 a liter Canadian. That's about a buck a liter American. So that's 370 at least for a US gallon. Um, actually, yeah, probably even a little more than that. Uh, yeah, probably about 380 a gallon US. So uh we're, we're saving a dollar a gallon uh practically uh, almost uh by just going down south unbelievable uh so many folks in creston across the border here five minutes away and uh we'll head to bonners ferry or we'll go down to coeur lane or if we have shopping to do you know we'll make a little loop head to spokane pick up stuff and do some shopping at the big u.s retail outlets and come on back to canada with the stuff <laughs> and a full tank of gas so uh, yeah, that's how we that's how we roll up here. Uh, out west from here, Vancouver, British Columbia. Oh my gosh, uh, Vancouverites, uh, they're famous for doing that. A uh, ton of folks from Vancouver every weekend uh, uh, or during the week if they're retired, they just head south across the border down to the Seattle area and uh, shop until they drop. And I can tell you, the Seattle's economy depends on Canadians coming down to make up those dollars because uh, we just add to the add to the gravy that they're already making we just add to it. it's fantastic but that's the way it goes with our dollars and our exchange rates and different taxes and everything else two different countries two different ways of doing business anyway the channel the channel the channel uh we're plugging right along here we got 2120 subscribers now something like that um inching along uh happy to see uh, happy to see that happening uh Although I just had a message from one of my subscribers telling me that he had to resubscribe today. He went there and he's not a subscriber. All of a sudden, he was a subscriber. Now he's not. He just resubscribed. I don't know what's going on. I cannot tell you what the glitches are sometimes. That is the weirdest thing. If you folks are watching this channel, any of you folks who want to become a subscriber, it's free. There's a button right there. It's on, I think, all the time, little red one. And then there's a button over here, that subscribe button. And beside it is a little bell icon. If you click on that, uh, after you subscribe, uh, you'll get um, notifications every time I new, do a new video or any time I go live. And sometimes I go live at a spur of the moment. If there's something going on in the cruise business, I'll just pop on the camera and just start talking. So you want to get an alert what's going on, uh, hit the bell icon, uh, subscribe to the channel, and uh, follow, and we'll go from there. I did a video on uh, Saturday morning. I popped one up. Uh, generally, I don't do that, but I did one Saturday morning. And I was talking about uh, the uh, the delight of eating ice cream on a cruise as opposed to eating ice cream on land. <laughs> it just tastes better when you're on a cruise, I think. And uh, then I happened to mention a uh, an item in the video that uh, is quite a popular item for cruisers. Uh, whether you're brand new or whether you've been cruising for years, uh, the, the uh, packing for a cruise game has completely changed in the last 10 years. The packing for anything has completely changed. I don't care if you're going on a business trip for a day, a week, uh, you're going to a conference somewhere, you're going on a pleasurable holiday by air to, you know, to New York City or to London, England or Paris, whether you're hiking with a backpack, whether you're taking the RV out for the weekend, you're going camping, uh, you name it, taking a motorbike out with saddlebags. Packing has completely been revolutionized in the last couple of years, and the uh, one item that uh, has really picked up are these uh, cubes, these packing cubes. Uh, some of you folks were telling me about packing cubes in the last couple of months. Every time I bring up the subject of how do you pack for a cruise, what's the best thing to do, some of you folks are saying packing cubes, Bruce, they're just fantastic. Well, I highlighted a packing cube uh, product 
in that video. I think there's six pieces in this thing. And I put a link to my, uh, to my uh, Amazon page uh, for the item. Oh, I got all kinds of comments, just fantastic comments. People going, oh, I love this. I love this. It's fantastic. Thanks for mentioning it. And then I tweeted it and I put it on Instagram and all oh, the likes and the follows and oh my gosh, it was quite something. So yeah, it looks like a pretty good product. All right. Uh, six different, uh, uh, six different pieces, different sizes. And you pack the cubes, the cubes up one with say your underwear, one say with your, your tops and, and, and your pants. And then the other one might have shoes. Another one might have all your electronics, your chargers cables the cords the camera the all that stuff. and uh some of these cubes go in your carry-on some of these cubes go into your luggage and when you get to where you're going you just open up your your luggage open her up and instead of having clothing in there all over the place and you're trying to figure out where are my socks and you're digging through your suitcase rather than unpacking the whole thing you're just taking out the cubes so you know that this cube right here has got the underwear and socks in it you just have to zip it open and pull it pull out your sock this cube has got your bathroom stuff take it to the bathroom unpack it there Leave the cube there in the bathroom so when you're done with your trip, you repack the cube, bring it back to your suitcase. Talk about clean, efficient, and with clothing, you can carry 30% more stuff. So, uh, wow, uh, they have a mesh on the top so you can see what's inside there. No mysteries, so you don't have to play the game of, well, let's unzip and peek and unzip and, no, you don't do that. You just take a look on the, through the mesh and you know what's in there. Talk about convenient, wow, uh, my wife thinks these are fantastic. I think Jen's gonna make me buy some of these. <laughs> So there you go. Uh, pretty cool item for uh, for going on a trip and certainly for a cruise because in a cabin, we all know, we don't have a lot of room in a cabin to uh, to uh, unpack and, and stretch out. So these uh, these cubes are smart as a whip. You open the suitcase, take the cubes out, put the suitcase under the bed, it's gone. Now you just deal with the cubes, one in this drawer, one in that drawer, one in the bathroom, one on top of the counter for your electronics. And you're in business. Fantastic. Anyway, so I did that on Saturday and uh, got some nice responses. If you get a chance, check out the video with the ice cream cone. I uh, guess <laughs> I talk about ice cream on a cruise ship and I've uh, got some nice video in there too. So that was pretty cool. Um, what else am I going to say? Oh, the Amazon link page. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys. Thank you to my viewers. Thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to my relatives, friends, anyone I've ever met. <laughs> I started posting a an Amazon link in these videos in the description below. And I've been posting them on Twitter and, and on Instagram and on Facebook and you name it. And uh, been getting a response. People have been going to Amazon by clicking the link and going in and shopping on Amazon. And I get these reports every morning that tell me what's going on. I think I have 11 items now sold or ordered on Amazon in the last three days. Seven or so are already shipped. Four are going to ship probably today. Fantastic. Uh, I, I get these little reports and it says uh, you made 54 cents from the purchase of batteries and you made a dollar and 20 cents on the purchase of this and you made 87 cents on the purchase. Of that. It just all adds up. It's fantastic. Thank you, one, and thank you all. If you can use the link to shop on Amazon.com, I would appreciate it. Um, you can get stuff like uh, like you can get unlimited music through their unlimited music program. You subscribe to that through through my link, I get a royalty for that. They, they pay me to bring you there, uh, even though it's free for you. You can have a free trial of Amazon Prime. You get a 30 day free Amazon Prime trial. You go through my link into Amazon and then find that and buy that or buy the subscribe to it because you don't have to pay for it up front. I get a royalty for that. It's just, it's great. I, I'm just blown away. And anything you buy in a 24 hour window after you link in, uh, I get uh, I get some kind of a finder's fee. It varies from about three percent to eight percent or something like that. It averages around four or five percent. Makes no difference to you. Makes all the difference to me. So every day I wake up and I go to Amazon. I say, well, how am I doing? How many people popped in there and bought anything? That's fantastic. So thank you for all of you on your support there. Uh, my Patreon came through again at the end of the month. Thank you for Patreon uh, members and all of you folks who are pledging there uh, your support every month to me there. Thank you. Um, my, uh, my, uh, PayPal account, uh, got another donation over the weekend. Thank you for any of those through my PayPal account. Thank you. It all just adds up and helps because I'm still not monetized on YouTube. Uh, YouTube does not pay me to be here. Uh, it's now been since February the 20th. Today is June the 4th. As I glance over at the date, June the 4th, I still haven't been paid by YouTube a dime and, um, Waiting to the end of the month. They tell us the last time they said there's going to be an update, end of the month. I'm waiting. Uh, crossing my fingers, hoping for the best. 
We'll see what happens. All right, that's it there for the channel. Um, other news, I created a Facebook page, a group for Traveling with Bruce. So if you get a chance to go to Facebook, in the search bar, enter Traveling with Bruce, just like the channel is spelled with two L's, and it will take you to the Traveling with Bruce Facebook group page. And on that page, this is where you guys can tell, talk to me and talk to the group at large. I would just love it if any of you guys who are getting Redbubble stuff in the mail uh, from my Redbubble store, like the shirt or anything else, show me a photo of your stuff. If you either want to show me you wearing the shirt or holding the mug or just picturing the mug without you on the picture, whatever, that would be terrific. Share with everybody in the group that you're getting the Redbubble product. Tell, share your favorite cruise photos with our group page. Any cruises you've been on over the last number of years, last cruise you just did, the first cruise you've ever done, the favorite port you've ever visited. Find your photos and post them on the group. Share them with everybody, and uh, you'll get all kinds of likes and thumbs ups. And, uh, <laughs> and if you have any questions about cruising uh, between shows, uh, can't wait till I go on the air next time, fire the question onto the Facebook group page, and either I or one of the group members will already uh, answer it. And if you, uh, you ask to join the group, I'll Make sure you get into the group. That'd be great. So I think we're almost at 100 members. The site is three days old, uh, the channel. It's unbelievable. It's fantastic. So uh, it's going well. A bunch of photos have been posted. We're having fun. I'm throwing up some photos that uh, some of you probably haven't seen before. And so if you get the chance, uh, pop on by and uh, check it out and uh, participate. And let's go from there. So thank you one and all for coming into the Traveling with Bruce website. Uh, sorry, the Facebook page, because now I want to talk about the website. I created a Traveling with Bruce website, did that last week, and today I posted for the first time a couple of uh, videos from YouTube as I slowly get them in there, and I'll get that website kind of fired up a little bit. Um, yeah, I will eventually add more, more um, information in there as we go forward, but right now it's one step at a time. I needed a website to be functional in order to qualify for Amazon affiliate marketing and so the site was created i was able to get into amazon and now one at a time i'm getting the facebook thing going the website thing going the amazon thing going the youtube channel the uh, twitter instagram patreon pinterest it just goes on and on and on what i've learned in nine and a half months just blows my mind i try to tell someone who i haven't seen for six months they say well what you doing <laughs> i tell them oh well i uh, i do youtube videos Oh, that's cool. Yeah, good. So, uh, you know, what's it like? Well, you know, and then I go in telling them a little bit, and they go, what? And then I tell them about this and that, and they go, huh? And then I tell them about Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and affiliate marketing, and they go, huh? <laughs> I have no idea. Like, I had no idea. It is so complicated, and it's so layered with so much to do. No wonder this is a full-time job. Uh, I have such respect for the YouTubers out there who've been doing this for years. Um, if you can do this on your own, oh, you are working hard and long hours. Uh, I want to just, I just want to go on cruise ships. I want to go traveling with my peeps and uh, report from cruise ships, but I have to also manage the channel and manage the business of traveling with Bruce to survive economically to keep doing it because I don't get paid by a sponsored website or anything like that. I'm on my own here, uh, so it's a lot of work. I enjoy it. Uh, but it, it's unbelievably uh, intense. It's it's also incredibly interesting, and uh, I love it. And I love the interaction I have with you guys. So I'm going to say hi to the folks here. If you've never been here before, say hi to me. Uh, why don't you tell me where are you where are you watching me from today? Uh, tell me what's your high temperature today? Uh, what's the price of gas in your neighborhood? Uh, I'm kind of curious. Let's compare U.S. and Canadian gas prices. <laughs> and if you're watching from overseas, tell us what gas prices are in Tokyo or in London or wherever you are, New Zealand, Australia, just say hi and uh, give us some ideas so that we, we can figure out how lucky we are. <laughs> and we'll kind of go from there. I've got an unboxing to do here. I got a box in from Redbubble today. We're going to do that in a couple minutes as everyone signs in. And then I got some news today on uh, what's going on out there. I got a, a, the title of the show today, Four Things All Cruise Lines kind of want you to ignore they kind of don't don't pay attention to this stuff don't don't dig into this too much you, you really don't need to know uh really no just just, just enjoy yourself i uh, have another drink uh, have another one of those eight dollar bar of beers that we love to sell you you'll love it it's gonna be great uh i'm gonna say hi now to the peeps who are signing in uh, pamela jordan said hi 
Uh, hi, Bruce, and everyone. Sunny 81 here in Iva, South Carolina. Welcome back, Pamela. One of my originals from the very, one of my very first originals from one of my very first live streams. I think within the first week, she was already saying hi to me every day. Peter Heckema, another one, an original. How are you, Peter? Uh, 89 degrees in Tarpon Springs, Florida today. Matches the pool water temperature of 89 degrees. Pretty nice. Uh, got a package also, he says, from Redbubble today. My porthole t-shirt looks great. Hope you have a good trip to Costco. Uh, fire me a photo on the uh, Facebook page. Peter, love to see what that shirt looks like. That is fantastic. We did have a good trip to Costco. Picked up some provisions and got some grub and had a great time. Uh, Heather Young is also here, 77 in Kentucky. Beautiful sunny day. Hello, Mr. Bruce and everyone. Hi, Heather. Tammy Ray, I will hopefully be able to watch a few minutes. I will watch later if I miss anything. Fantastic, Tammy. Uh, Richard C., how you doing, Bruce? Hey, Richard, welcome back. Wes Morrison, hey, hi, 91 here in New Braunfels, Texas. When I went to your channel, I had to resubscribe. That is unbelievable. I cannot understand it. Um, I'll look into it, but uh, there's got to be glitches out there from time to time. Um, for, for those of you who are subscribers of mine, uh, you know, keep an eye on it. Uh, anyone else runs into this issue, please let me know, uh, and I'll pass it on to YouTube. Desi Wagner, hello all. It's about 67 degrees in the office. <laughs> the air conditioning's on. <laughs> it's like 54 here, uh, cloudy and rainy. Um, what can I say? Uh, the weather is going to turn, but it's going to be a couple days from now before we really heat up. Cool Jazz. Hey, hello, Bruce. Pleasant evening to you. Gorgeous, cool day in the Big Apple. Welcome, Cool Jazz. Nice to have you back to the show. Uh, Charles Jordan. Hello, everybody. Hey, Charles. Paul Wilgus is here. Hi, Bruce and all. 75 breezy and no humidity here in Virginia. That's great. The best day we've had in a month. Gas here, $2.59 a gallon. What a bargain in Virginia. You got two fifty nine dollars gas. Get out of town. That's awesome. Peter Heckham of Tarpon Springs gas today, two seventy two. dollars Florida taxes uh, a little higher, but still, that's cheaper than where I am uh, here, where I went to Coeur d'Alene. Debbie Manuel is here. Hi, Bruce. And everyone says it'll only be 91 here today in Northern California. That's in Chico. Nice after reaching 100 yesterday. So, yuck, yeah, come on down nine degrees, a little easier to take and get a little breeze, hang out in the shade. It's quite enjoyable. Desi Wagner, 299 gasoline by me, but I know in Chicago proper, it's like 384. Five. Oh my gosh, you're paying Canadian prices for gasoline in Chicago. That's crazy. And you don't have health care like we have. That's a ripoff. <laughs> Peter Eckham, a Canadian dollar on the market today was 129.30, nearly 30% exchange. Makes crews for Canadians a little more expensive. Yes, it does, sir. We watch that up here like you cannot believe. I know Americans almost don't care what uh, the American dollar is worth to anybody else. But we care. We really care what the Canadian dollar is worth against the American dollar because we buy so many items from you guys. And cruising is U.S. dollar based. Cool Jazz, did you? Cool Jazz, did you watch the um, MSC Sea View christening video? No, no, I, I, I don't watch that stuff. I know they were doing it, uh, but uh, it just doesn't interest me. Uh, was it any good? Did you like it? Uh, was it over the top? How was it? Let me know. Uh, DNG Explorers. Hi, Bruce. Hot and 99 today in Central California. Summer's here. Hi, you guys. DNG Explorers have a channel and they're here watching me today. Welcome, you guys, uh, fellow YouTubers. I'm glad you're here. Fantastic. We got we to gotta get together. You guys got to drop me a message. Uh, direct message me through my uh, Traveling with Bruce uh, link. Uh, come on over there to Facebook and send me a direct message. We got to get together and have a chat. We, we got to talk. We got to talk YouTube. <laughs> Maybe we can do something together. Seakeeper. Hi, Bruce. And everyone, 93 Fahrenheit in the shade here today. No breeze, damp, and slightly uncomfortable outside after a while. I guess, yeah, that would kind of take its toll, wouldn't it? And Jordan, hey, Bruce, and all, it's 22 Celsius in Brisbane. Brr, cold. I wish we were getting to 22 today. Winter is coming. We're, we're, not, even, we're not even at 22. We're at like 16. <laughs> and we're supposed to be going in the summer. So there's a little imbalance here, Ann, but it's all right. It's all good. Uh, Debbie Manuel, hi, Ann. Wendy Thompson, hi, everyone. Beautiful day in Bland, Missouri. 88 degrees here in Bland, Missouri. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, Seakeeper, winter is coming. Uh, how very game of thronish for you, Ann. <laughs> very nice. And Jordan, hey, Debbie, 28 days till the bliss. Blaine Rayleigh is here. Hey, y'all. 91 on Hilton Head. Nice, nice day. Welcome back to the show, Blaine. Great to have you again. 
Uh, Steve Bartley, 93 for a high today in Greeley, Colorado. Nice, nice weather. Debbie Manuel, I know, so excited. Everyone's getting excited about their crews. Mary Almeyer is here. Hi, Bruce. I interest, uh, listening in the car today, 74 in Detroit. I'm going to miss the box reveal. Oh, you'll have to watch the replay when you get home later tonight. And uh, you'll just watch me open the uh, open the uh, the uh, box then. Uh, Wendy Thompson, Br uh, Bruce, you are just a busy man with all these new happenings. Uh, Wendy, I tell you, uh, this is what you got to do. Uh, you know, if you're a full timer and you're trying to make us, you're trying to survive on this business, you got to have, you know, fishing lines everywhere to try to snag a <laughs> catch, because uh, I can't rely on Facebook to pay me, or, or sorry, on on YouTube to pay me, because they change the rules all the time. I, I don't know what they're going to do in three months, six months, a year from now. I have no idea whether I'll be monetized then. Like I may be monetized shortly and then read unmonetized again. I can't I can't count on these guys. I have no idea what's going on with these people. So I'm on my own. I've got to do it all on my own on the outside. And they're forcing me to really work it to find a way to, uh, you know, economically make it go. And thanks to a lot of you guys, you've been helping me dramatically and I really appreciate it. But that's just the way it goes. Uh, Peter Heckema, Bruce, slow down and smell the roses. You need a cruise. I hear you, Peter. But when I'm getting on a cruise, I'll be working. <laughs> I'll get this Stephen. Don't worry. I'll get into the spot. Don't don't you worry about that. It's gonna be great. I can't wait, Peter. I just can't wait. Wendy Green, hi from Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Wendy Green, are you new? Is this a first timer saying hi to me? Uh, Wendy Green, I don't recall the name Wendy Green before. Uh, if I've forgotten, I apologize. If you're new, welcome to the show. I'm glad you're here. Um, if you're a first time cruiser, let us know. If you're a veteran cruiser, tell us. Because if you love cruising, you've come to the right channel. If you're brand new to cruising, you've come to the right channel. So uh, welcome to the show. This is great. And Jordan, uh, got a GOT favorite show, um, uh, Sea Keeper 2019 until it comes back. I'm not sure what she, what she means by that. Got favorite show. What is, what is that? Um, I'm, I'm missing some codes. Mary, hi all. 51 degrees here in New Hampshire. Hi, Mary. Welcome back. You're like we are. Kind of cool today. Uh, Mary is saying gas is 279 here in New Hampshire. 279 is cheaper than Idaho. Um, interesting. Uh, Wendy Thompson, 269 a gallon where Wendy Thompson is. So that even better. My goodness. Uh, Carla Miller, hi from Arlington, Texas. 103 days until my repositioning cruise on the Carnival Breeze. Right on 103 days. It's coming. DNG Explorers, M M Madeira, California. Gas today, 402. Oh, but wait, I saved 10 cents for using my debit card. <laughs> 392. Still up there, isn't it? That's Canadian prices. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, uh, that is something. Uh, we think in Canada we're getting ripped off unbelievably, and yet you guys are kind of paying it weird. It's, it's crazy. Cool Jazz didn't care for it either. Uh, cool Jazz is saying, uh, I'm not sure what Cool Jazz is referring to. Have I already forgotten what he mentioned? Did I? Oh, uh, the, CSU, the seaside christening. You didn't care for it either. Didn't think it was all that great. Interesting. Interesting. Um, yeah, I, I just don't get into that kind of stuff. It's like, eh, whatever. Wait till I'm on the show, on the boat, and we'll see what happens, you know. Um, DNG Explorers, we will definitely do that, Bruce. Thank you. Got Right on, guys. We got we to gotta talk. We got to get together. Debbie Manuel, California is ridiculous for gas. I pay three seventy at Costco, but saw Chevron at four ten. dollars That's something. You know, when we cross the border here uh, at Fort Hill, Idaho, we drive about, uh, oh, about 12, 15 miles, 20, well, maybe 15, 20 miles, yeah. And then we come just outside of Bonner's Ferry, and there's a kind of a truck stop just outside of town. And it's, it's an intersection of two highways, like a T intersection. And uh, we drove by there Saturday. The gas was something like, uh, oh, gosh, it was like three, yeah, three, maybe even 310 a gallon or 315. It was up there. And we knew, though, that's that you never buy gas there. You never buy gas there ever. It is ridiculous. Sure enough, you get into Bonner's Ferry five miles later, and it's five cents less already. But then you go another 20 miles, 30 miles to Sandpoint, Idaho. It's another five, 10 cents less. Then you get to Coeur d'Alene, and you get to the Costco, and now you're down to the, I think it was 295 or 297, something like that, where I paid for gas uh, per gallon. But I did pay uh two or three months ago 220 for a gallon of gas so it's gone up uh, 65 70 cents us a gallon in three months i would guess so it was down to 220 for a while um but those days have 
passed us by for now, just what it, just what it is. Nina Frank is here from Sweden. Hi, Bruce, and all folks out there. Greetings from a very warm Sweden, 35 Celsius. That's up there into the 80s. Everybody sleeps with their balconies open at night. I bet you they do. Trying to keep cool. Right on, Nina. Wendy Green, yes, I am new to your channel. Have been on two cruises, headed to Alaska on the Bliss mid-july fantastic everyone is getting ready to go on the bliss you're one of them that's exciting stuff fantastic wendy welcome to the show if you have any questions about going on a cruise let us know but this is getting your this is going to be your third cruise you're becoming a veteran fast this is great and jordan game of thrones typo <laughs> sea keeper 274 a gallon here in uh in uh, southern florida uh, steve bartley a kid on the bus in Iceland remarked on the uh, good gas price, about 190 kroner. A one kroner is about a cent U.S. Then I told him that that was per liter and told him how many liters were in a gallon. <laughs> yeah. 3.7 liters times $1.90, uh, 7 bucks a gallon. Whoa, <laughs> yikes. Pamela Jordan, 252 for gas here. 252 oh my gosh that is a bargain you're getting the deal a deal i'm just backing up the camera because i'm getting ready to open my box from redbubble let's take a look at what we got here today i'm all excited i've been waiting for this uh, package now for about a week here it is look how this how, how pristine this box is canada post pretty good they uh they didn't beat up my package at all all the corners are still pristine uh, very happy with that. Uh, let's take a look. I'll take my scissors here and slice her open and let's see what's inside. I am hot, very happy that this has arrived. There we go. Close that up. And let's see what we've got. Let's open her up. And what we have here is looks like cut like the bottom of an egg carton. Just pick it up. Look at that. There you go. A little packing there. And looky what we have us here. Oh my my, I think we got us some coffee mugs. Oh my goodness gracious, how about that? I got a little red bubble sticker. Everybody gets a red bubble sticker when you order from Red Bubble. How about that? Let's take a look at this first one. Oh my 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 my. Traveling with Bruce, uh, the porthole logo on my mug. Fantastic. This is great. Oh, that's number one right there. Let's put that guy over here. Traveling with Bruce. Oh, the set is getting decorative. And then we got, oh, we got the anchor logo. Look at this. TWB. Fantastic. I've got to kind of get myself one of these t-shirts too. Traveling with Bruce. Um, anchor, anchor mug logo. Let's just put that there for now. That is fantastic. All right, what do we got here? Oh, this is the uh, this is the traveling with Bruce logo. One of the first ones we made, the uh, the wave logo with the steering wheel on it. There we go, and they're absolutely pristine. There's absolutely they're perfect. These cups are in perfect condition. Fantastic! I am a happy guy traveling with Bruce. And then we've got the fourth one here. Oh, this is the uh, the latest. One. Put that box away. Traveling with Bruce uh, with the propeller, the moving propeller. Look at that. Isn't that great? I could have ordered this. I could have ordered this one with black lettering here. I've got a logo with that. But I thought, nah, I'll just go with the uh, I'll go with the white lettering and uh, see how uh, or the gold lettering that matches the color of the logo itself. Let's put that stuff there. So there you go. That's that's how you get mugs when you order them. Um, when I ordered these mugs originally, uh, I was getting. Um, you know, I was going through the uh, the order process, you know, and uh, here we go. Let's put that over here. There we go. Woohoo! Uh, when I started ordering the mugs, um, every time you you add one to the cart, uh, the price goes down per mug because if you order uh, two of them, I think you get uh, ten percent off, and if you order three of them. Um, you're about 15% off. And if you order four, you get 25% off. Well, that's like you buy three and get one free. I mean, that's, that's all right. And so I, uh, I ordered the four and, uh, perfect because the package is perfectly designed for four mugs. Uh, absolutely perfectly designed for that. So I'm a happy guy. Um, the package is absolutely pristine. Um, and I'm really 
pleased by this by by how they do it. So I love the way Redbubble does their uh, their shipping and their manufacturing. Uh, they sent me an email uh, with the tracking number, which I was able to keep an eye on every couple of days. I keep an eye and see where the package was going. Uh, and then this morning, um, I got an email. Your package has arrived. Your your package, your Redbubble package is here, which in my case means it's in my mailbox. And sure enough, I went down to my little station over here, next uh, down here, just a block or so from the house, and uh, it was in one of the bigger boxes for the mailboxes. And there was my package. So wonderful uh, uh, delivery, a uh, wonderful quality. I'm very happy. Jen is smiling from ear to ear, and uh, uh, I, I done good. I done good. So there you go. Uh, oh, by the way, today, uh, if you want to order anything on Redbubble today, Monday, June the fourth. Uh, apparently, all the T-shirts and a bunch of other items, they have reduced the price today only 20% off. So uh, you get an automatic 20% discount on whatever you're going to pick off. So if you've been thinking about getting a shirt of mine or a mug or stickers or clocks or whatever, head over there. Take a peek and make sure at the top of that Redbubble page, you'll see a, there'll be a thing 20% off. It tells exactly what exactly is 20% off. I know the T-shirts are included in that. And I wanted to mention that to you guys today uh, in case any of you were thinking, oh, I might order a T-shirt from this guy. This is your chance. All right. Uh, let's hear what's going on here. Uh, getting up to date with my uh, my messages here. Here we go. Seakeeper saw the guys from Cruising with Wheels on the Bliss in Alaska today. They seem to enjoy it. Yeah, they seem to be having a good time for sure. I got to get those guys on this uh, channel through a live interview. Rayvon uh, is saying hi, everybody. Hi, Rayvon. Lisa Moore. Hello, Bruce and everyone. Hi, Lisa. Iskew Park. Hi, Bruce. It's Iskew in Thunder Bay, Ontario. Joined your Facebook group. Nice to see our regulars there. It's seven degrees Celsius uh, on the plus side. Still cold and very windy. That puts you at only about, wow, uh, 40 something, 42. Not great yet. Uh, cool jazz. You need a nice ship poster on the wall behind you. <laughs> uh, either that or I got to put a map back there. You know, if I can put a world map back there. And then I'll put a pin for everybody that, that uh, says hi to me. That might be another way to do it, too. Uh, Seakeeper, love the propeller. I, me, too. I think it's just fantastic. Uh, these logos are absolutely stunning. Uh, whoever made them, uh, they're just incredible. I have to keep that person anonymous. Uh, but one of our regulars put those together with me, and I'm so excited. They're fantastic. Iskew Park, $1.45 a liter here for gas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, what's that? Two ninety-five, eighty. That's five twenty a gallon Canadian for a U.S. gallon. Uh, the four, that's over four dollars. That's four ten, four twenty a gallon U.S. Wow, yeah, it's up there. Wendy Thompson, that's a lot of coffee. He'll be bouncing off the wall. <laughs> well, something tells me uh, going forward, you're not going to be looking at this logo much longer unless these people contact me here. And they give me a, some kind of a sponsorship deal. Uh, this logo is going to disappear, and it's going to be replaced with one of these logos over here. Uh, I think that's the direction we're headed here, folks. Uh, so if you see me sipping some of this brown fuzzy water, uh, it's from one of these. Don't think it's coffee. Don't be thinking. <laughs> oh my! Uh, let's see here. Uh, D and Jeeks Wars. Did you create your designs, or did they create them for you? Uh, they had to be created. We had to create them, and I've had. Uh, the uh, glorious assistance uh, of a of a subscriber of mine, and uh, been able to put these together. And and I, I in some cases I've had the idea, in other cases my designers had the idea, and then we kind of collaborate back and forth. And we, what about this? What if we did that? What if we did that? And then we kind of figure out a design. And when it looks great, we bingo. And then I'll send it in there, and uh, I send them the logo, and then they uh, they uh, produce it on on their items. It's a fantastic idea, D and G. You got to look into that. I'll talk to you about that when we talk on the phone, perhaps. Uh, I'm looking forward to talking to you guys. We'll talk YouTube. Uh, Sylvia Swan. Hi, Bruce and everyone. Sylvia, 83 degrees in Greensboro, North Carolina. Bruce, I got my paperweight. I love it. It's on my desk at work. I got the one with the U.S. Virgin Island on it. Oh, that's fabulous. You got to take a picture of that paperweight and post it on the uh, Facebook page, um, the group page, Traveling with Bruce Facebook group page. That will be great, Sylvia. Uh, that would be absolutely fantastic. Look look up the group later today if you can. Seakeeper, you'll need a shelf or two to display your merchandise behind you. I hope so. Uh, <laughs> I really do. I want to have everything behind me is going to be traveling with Bruce. Uh, that's what I'm hoping to have eventually for sure, everybody. Peter Heckman, no, no, no. The only picture back of you on the wall should be Jen. 
should just be Jen. Ah, you see. But, you know, Jen has a hard time. You know, she's had so many millions of photos taken of her by all these magazines and all these gossip magazines, you know, all these uh, publicity shots. Which one do you go with? Because her hair changes all the time. You know how it is. It's uh, the hair, the styles, the you know, one little wrinkle, and then, oh, it's all changed, you know. So you got to be careful with that kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> see, Keeper. Dollar forty five a liter is six fifty eight a Canadian gallon. Oh, yeah, Canadian gallon. Yes. Canadian gallon, yes, but I'm thinking U.S. gallons to compare to my Amer to my American friends. So I think it's 3.7 liters for an American gallon, and uh, that's why I multiply by kind of by four, and I sort of take off almost 10%. Uh, it's it's so complicated. It, life used to be a lot easier. It's just not that easy anymore. Uh, <laughs> uh, what was I going to talk about today? Well, here we are. The subject of the day, um, and Jordan, love the mugs, coffee, you go, love my espresso. There you go, fantastic. And um, the four things all cruise lines don't really want you to uh, pay attention to. Just ignore these little things. We know they exist, but we don't really want you to key in on it. Uh, it'll just upset you. <laughs> or it might, it might cause you some concern. How about, how about that? The number one thing, well, there's four things. And the first one on the list is um, the casino, the onboard casino. Um, if you think that the slot machines on a, on, a, on a cruise ship are just like the slot machines in Las Vegas, I got bad news for you. Uh, the uh, slots do not have the same payouts as Las Vegas slots. Um, slot machines in Las Vegas are kind of regulated, and they have to fit within a certain zone of payout. And uh, I think that – I'm not sure if it's a law in, in Nevada or not – whether or not casinos actually have to make available the slot payouts to the public. I don't know if they actually have to release it, but I do know that over the years I had seen the slot payouts posted by um, old magazines and, pay and, and, and periodicals that keenly follow the casino business in Nevada. And that uh, if you really want to find out what the payout on slot machines are on the strip or in downtown or at, uh, say, Sam's Club off the strip or one of these kinds of places, you can do that. On a cruise ship, they don't actually have to post the, the odds at all. They don't have to give you the payouts on the slot machines. Just safe to say that from industry experts, uh, the slot machine payouts on cruise ships are awful. <laughs> They're really bad. And you may find that uh, you can you can always win five bucks. You can win seven bucks. You can win four dollars. Sometimes you win three dollars, but you just can't seem to pick up a two hundred dollar winner. And you just can't get a five hundred dollar winner. And you're hanging around the casino for a seven day cruise. You're in the casino like five or six nights for a couple hours a night, and you never ever witnessed anyone winning a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars, ever, ever. <laughs> And uh, I kind of wonder, well, there's 150, 250 slot machines around here. It's, they're all over the place. There's 400 people in here. It's packed. We're all smoking, drinking, pumping money into these machines. There's a guy playing with dollar, dollar machine here. This one's playing with a quarter machine. There's a bunch of nickel machines, penny machines. And with a penny machine, you know, with maximum play, you're playing $3 a shot, $4 a shot. You never hear anyone winning $1,000. You hear people win $20. 50, 15, 5. They just put that right back in the machine because it's not enough to, you know, give up on, which is the point. <laughs> the casino never wants you to stop gambling until you run out of money. <laughs> so there you go. I got lucky one time on uh, a slot machine, but it owed me. I was uh, on the last night of a cruise, and uh, I'd been on the, in the slot machine, in the uh, casino for five or six of the seven nights and I was on the last night and I was on a machine and I got, I got fortunate. I caught a bonus round and I got seven free games. And in the third free game, I got another bonus thing pop up, which gave me another seven games with a higher payout. And then about four or five spins in out, I got another free seven games and this quadrupled the payouts on each of the free games. And uh, I had a couple of other bonus rounds that came through, and I was now playing with maximum money every roll because it was house money now, trying to get some money back from this casino. And I walked out of there with 750 bucks. I, I had 100 bucks in there and walked out of there with like 850, so I had 750 more. And I would 
jogged over to the uh, front desk of the uh, of the uh, cruise ship, uh, the front desk, and uh, checked, inquired as to my balance owing on my room account. <laughs> Saw the number and promptly handed over seven hundred fifty dollars in cash towards that balance to bring it down a little bit uh, to make it a bit more palatable for my credit card to take the rest uh, because uh, all the onboard charges and the other casino losses were still on there and I wanted to el eliminate as much as I could. But I was kind of grateful it happened on the last night because the next day I couldn't gamble. <laughs> we had to get off the ship. <laughs> So that's how that one went. But that was the only time I ever won any kind of money on a, on a slot machine. That was just trying to get some of what I was already into it for back. So I'm curious, have any of you out there been on a, on a cruise where someone has actually won something, like, I mean, significant winnings on a slot machine? I mean, of any significance? Uh, you're, you know, we all hear the story of, of someone putting in 20 bucks and they win 100. Well, yeah, great. You know, you won 100 bucks. But, I mean, does anyone out there want uh, something big and you witnessed it or you heard the commotion and went over to see what was going on and there it is, seven, 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 seven. seven. Did you ever see something like that? Because I haven't witnessed that. I've witnessed it in Vegas. I've witnessed it in, um, in a number of times in Las Vegas over the years. Uh, and if you hang around the casino floor long enough, you'll hear the bells and whistles go off somewhere. You just kind of work your way over there. And sure enough, there's 10, 20 people standing around the guy with a slot machine and he's just picking up 15 grand or 10 grand or whatever it is. But I haven't uh, seen that kind of winning on a cruise ship casino in a slot machine. I'm kind of curious if any of you folks know that the cruise ship doesn't want, I really, they don't want us to talk about that. They don't want to talk about the lousy odds on the slot machine. They'd rather we just kind of go there and have fun. Well, fun means lose. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, um, Let's see your Canadian gals for where we go. Cam Wilson, hi everyone. Cool jazz. Best bet is to play craps. Lisa Moore, hi Cam Wilson. Glad you're back. Uh, Carla Miller is here. My husband won fifteen hundred bucks. They report the winnings to the IRS. Oh, that's ridiculous. Uh, Wendy Thompson's casino where where we found it once by mistake. Uh, I play bingo. Uh, Three hundred dollars I won on my last cruise. Well done on the bingo game. Well done. Desi Wagner, I won 150 bucks on the uh, NL, uh, Norwegian Sky. I was playing penny slots, but Hubs was playing poker and won 300 in a tournament split. There you go, right on. Uh, Peter Heckema, play blackjack. It's the only game on the casino with even odds uh, with the house. Um, uh, last cruise, walked away with 750 bucks. Then my wife spent it on the jewelry store. Laugh out loud. There you go, easy come and easy go. Don't tell the wife anything. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Yes, Richard C is saying yes. Last cruise, guy won twenty eight hundred bucks. Paid for his cruise. Right on. I'm glad. To, I'm glad to hear it because I haven't witnessed it. It's just glad to see this. Peter Heckman, I have never seen anyone on a cruise ship win anything big while playing slots. There you go. That's me too. Uh, Dommy's uh, Dom Dommer Dom Dom Years Ten D O M M Y R S Dom Years Ten is here. What? you did to them boys in new orleans was a disgrace to humanity oh i think we've got a a nasty one here uh i think dommies is not all that polite to us we'll we'll give him one more message and then he's gone wes morrison one of the things cruise lines don't want you to know is the cost of excursions went to holland america's website and could not find the cost oh that's surprising i'm surprised you couldn't do that wes that's kind of weird susan hoffman uh, i saw a lady win around 3400 dollars on a penny machine grand princess the next cruise the machine had magically disappeared <laughs> it must have fallen overboard by mistake or something you know how it is they were probably moving it from one area of the casino to the other one guy slipped and it just fell over the railing and down into the depths it went oh my goodness uh, cool jazz if you win in international waters how the irs gets reported funny business there i don't understand it myself smart chips is it true you visited Oh, yeah, here we go. We got a couple of morons here today. We're going to get rid of these guys. Yeah, you're gone. You're gone. You're gone. Oh, my goodness. There we go. <laughs> All right, we got rid of those guys. Sea Keeper Casino. I say nay, nay. I never witnessed a big payout at sea. I won $275 one night and walked away with it. Never went back. I bet $5 on number 16 at the roulette table and won $175. I walked away. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I've, I've, been to like a, I've been to a slot tournament where you pay uh, maybe 10 or 20 bucks to enter. 
and uh, the top, uh, what is it, uh, the top 10 scores during the day. You, you, enter, you make your entry, you get to sit down for three minutes, hit the button like a maniac. And if your score, your, your total is in the top 10, you're in the finals. And uh, you get to come back later that afternoon for the final round and the top three people win money. The next couple of people win you know, some kind of free dinner maybe and everybody else gets a t-shirt for coming out, $20 t-shirt. Uh, I was in one of those and um, and I couldn't get into the top 10. I, I, I was like a 12th or 13th out of 40, 50 people. So spent 20 or 40 bucks, tried a couple of times and couldn't do it. But I, I love that because, uh, you know, for 20 bucks, you have a shot at maybe $500, $1,000 first prize or $100 third prize, something like that. Uh, I did that in Vegas once. I was in a slot tournament and uh, I got into the top 10. So I was in the finals and there were like 300 people who tried to get in. And um, I came in, uh, I think it was third, and uh, they gave us a steak dinner uh, for a party of four. And it was the, at that point, it was my, my wife and daughter and I, the three of us. So we went into their steakhouse, and we're looking at the prices of the steakhouse. We figured out it was a $250 deal uh, to, to buy the dinner there, and it was on the house. And uh, not bad for a $20 entry fee. Loved it. Now it's a good steak too, actually. And Jordan, why do they rig the slot machines? Don't they want you to win? It's it's hard to win. Well, and what they what they've done, I think what the way it's working is they they've rigged them so that you can win you win these little mini pots all the time. You win enough to kind of hang around so that your your loss rate is about 10, 20, 30 bucks an hour, depending on how heavy you're betting. Um, because there are some folks who'll put a $20 bill in, but they'll only play 10 pennies at a time, 10 lines. Others will play 50 lines, one penny at a time, or 50 lines, four pennies at a time, and they'll lose it faster and slower. But uh, instead of just going from $100 to zero or 20 to zero, it goes like 20 to 18 to 16 to 18 to 14 to 16, and then slowly, it just does this. And you never win enough. If you have like a big win, you get to $18 again. Like you're back to 18. You're still down two bucks. So you keep playing. And you keep playing, you drop, and you get down to five, and you're up to 11, and then you come back, and slowly you lose your money. And uh, you never get the winner. And uh, the trick with slot machines in most cases is to get the big jackpot, you got to be a maximum better. So you got to bet all lines, maximum bet per line. And on a penny machine, you could be talking $4.50 a bet, $4.50 for 450 pennies at a time uh to get the jackpot with the odds which are astronomical so uh it's a lose-lose game it's just entertainment uh bells and whistles and you have some fun and you hope you get lucky with something and maybe you pick up 50 bucks 100 bucks but your your odds of winning a thousand or more not gonna happen uh what i love to do is if i put in a 20 dollar bill and i'll play uh, maybe if i can play five coins per maximum i might play three to start with and if I win something, I get like $22, $23, I'm up a few bucks, I go right to maximum bet. Now I hit the maximum until I go back to about 15 bucks. And so I've got $8 to try to get a winner. And if I get you know, a partial winner that makes me, gives me a payout of $15, well, now I'm up to maybe $33, $35. I'm playing maximum now until I'm back to maybe 25 or 30. And I you know, hopefully walk away flat or not, or I'll play maximum until I'm back to say 25. Then I play three coins until I'm back to 15. Then I'm playing two coins after that, just to try to hang on. <laughs> Sometimes you get lucky, you know, the third spin into the maximum bets, you get a winner and you win, you pick up a hundred bucks. So now you got $115 in your slot machine or $125 in your slot machine and you're playing maximum bets. That's when I say to myself, well, I'll play until I get to 80. But uh, since I get to 80, I'm cashing this to cashing out of this machine. I might go to another one, but I'm cashing out of this one. So you play maximum, 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 maximum. And if you, you go up, you're down, you're up, you go a little higher, you lift you lift that lower level from 80 to 100. As soon as I get to 100, I'm walking, that kind of thing. And sometimes you get lucky that way and make a few bucks. But uh, I haven't won the big one. I haven't seen a big one hit. Um, uh, Bitcoin, Brian, um, uh, let's see. I went all in with a... Uh, a gut shot and rivered a straight flush in Los Angeles. Nice. That's got some Mark Boyle. This uh, man is guilty. Oh, God, we got another moron here. So we got to get rid of these guys. What are you going to do? Uh, today is the day we got some morons coming by. Seakeeper wife won't allow me to lose money in the casino. Uh, and uh, Bitcoin is saying went to Vegas and lost it all on the, foot on the draw. 
And then we got that guy. Uh, he's gone. Uh, Mark, uh, we're going to get rid of this guy. He's gone. Uh, let's see. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, I got to report this guy. Just ridiculous. Uh, just ridiculous. Um, Steaming Bean. Hey, everybody. School is out and football practice is canceled. Oh, my. You're out. Cam Wilson, Bruce, you're actually getting famous. You're experiencing your first troll. It's not the first time. It's just the first time in a long time. But what are you going to do? Steam and being trolled. Bitcoin, uh, really, Mark, I've been a big fan of this man for a long time with these allegations. So, oh, here we go. So this guy's also part of the group. So we'll get rid of him. Uh, Pamela, okay, time to get rid of the trolls. That's what we're doing. Cool jazz. Bruce, you need to get a, a mod to handle the doors. <laughs> a module moderator. Folks need to be bounced. Uh, Alex, uh, they are true. Uh, yeah, here we go. We got this guy here. Oh, we got all kinds of trolls here today. Uh, all kinds of trolls. Sorry to say, folks. They're all coming through. Uh, they got nowhere else to go. Steam, uh, Steaming Bean, the casino and the art galleries are big ripoffs. Beware. Steaming Bean, Sea Keeper, I gamble like you. Uh, let's see here. We got to get rid of Bitcoin. Brian again. Uh, let's see. Three coins in a fountain. Love that song. <laughs> <laughs> sea keeper is more like walk by gambling i stop put down a few bucks and i walk away yeah that's right uh we got another moron here uh trying to play games steamy bean keep me bruce don't ditch me steamy bean damn pencil neck geeks yeah you know they, they got nothing better to do they come to uh, they they come uh, like 10 or 15 of them come around and just try to hassle a live stream uh means i'm getting famous or they stumbled across us by accident i have no idea uh it's just the way it is. Uh, you know, they just keep on going and keep on going. Uh, they have various names. They'll have 15, 20 names. And this is what YouTube is trying to get rid of. This is the, these are the morons that YouTube is trying to eliminate from existence. Uh, problem is that there are probably hundreds of thousands of them like this. Or there are tens of thousands of these idiots that have 10 or 20 handles each. And you, it's like whack-a-mole. You try to get rid of one and they pop up elsewhere. And uh, they start, you see, here they go. They start popping in and they just go after you. And you just have to delete them. You just have to be relentless and just say, you're gone, you're gone, you're gone. It's cute. When we were on the Glory, their casino had all the penny and nickel coin holes covered, only 25 cent higher bets. Sneaky buggers. Wow. Uh, that is interesting. Let the trolls walk the plank, mate. Yeah, absolutely. Interesting stuff uh, uh, that they're doing that. Um, Steamy Bean trolls live in their mother's basements. They do. They do. They live in their mommy's basements. They don't have jobs. They they are getting money somehow to live on. They're living off of somebody, and uh, they can't live off themselves. And uh, they got nothing better to do but to has hassle existing channels. Uh, you know what can I say? Uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't make the system. It's just part of the way it is. Um, and there's not much I can do about it. I just have to uh, deal with them as best I can. And uh, for what, I used to be intimidated by them. When I first started, I was kind of intimidated by these guys. I thought, oh, geez, what am I going to do? Not anymore. I, now I just kind of just grab the phone and immediately hit them and just get rid of them and uh, delete them. They can't come back, hopefully. Steamy Bean, ice cream on ships. I stand corrected. <laughs> uh, that was fun. I did that video. Panel Jordan, okay, enough, eight. Uh, there you go. Uh, I'm not seeing any more at the moment. Um, and over here, I don't see any more here either. Uh, maybe they've given up or they're moved on to the next target. I don't know. Or they're waiting five minutes and they'll try hitting me again. We'll just keep an eye on them and see what's going on. All right. Uh, the next, uh, the next uh, 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 item that cruise lines really don't want you to pay attention to, if at all possible, is uh, something called the shopping events. Uh, they'll have these, uh, they'll have these uh, events. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm not sure if this guy's real or not. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. We got a couple more. Yeah, a couple more. Uh, here we go. And uh, get rid of that guy. Uh, where's this guy? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> uh, one by one, I eliminate them. The uh, shopping events. They'll call uh, a special event in the main uh, showroom. And uh, they'll have signage all over the ship. And they'll put signage in the... Uh, They'll put signage in the daily newspaper you get in the morning. And it's a like at 2 o'clock, come on to the main dining room for a special event, and you might get a free gift or win a prize. And all they're trying to do is they're trying to hustle you into coming off, off the ship with them tomorrow morning, wherever they're going to be at. And they want you to uh, – they want you to uh, – here we go. Uh, report this guy. And uh, here we go. Goodbye. Um, 
they want you to join them on a shopping tour. So they're going to basically uh, either walk you from the ship, the gang, the plank, gang plank, when you come up, uh, over to a mall just nearby, or they're going to put you on a special bus and they're going to drive you to a shopping center somewhere on the island, and they're going to uh, they're going to uh, um, uh, take you to a number of retailers that are paying a kickback to the cruise line for everything you buy. And uh, you're, you're not getting any deals anywhere. You're just getting you're just you're just being exposed to a product that uh, that um, um, you know you're just being sold product at way more than than it's worth. And uh, there's a percentage going back to the guys who got you who promoted you in the first place. I, I totally avoid those areas, those deals. I don't even bother with them. Um, you know, if I if I want to be a smart shopper, I can be a pretty smart shopper at home. Um, I'll go to Costco. Or I'll go to a, uh, you know, I'll find a going out of business sale or, uh, uh, you know, I'll find ways to get deals myself. I don't need to uh, get it off a cruise ship. I don't know why I'd be able to save a ton of money at a retailer in St. Thomas <laughs> when I can save a ton of money in Miami. Uh, I think on the mainland, I'm going to get better prices. Just me. Um, anyway, yeah. <clears throat> now, here we go. I think we got another one. <clears throat> uh, here we go. There we go. One by one, we just eliminate them from the world if we can do it and uh, just try to get rid of them. Uh, sorry for having to tolerate this, folks, but they're in there and they're on, They're picking on us today. That's just the way it goes. So that's the shopping event. Watch out for the shopping events. They're, uh, uh, in two cruises, I bought one T-shirt, Steaming Bean is in. You know, I, I bought these, uh, these mugs here, these, these, uh, these units here. I bought these guys here. Uh, it's all right. Uh, didn't mind paying a little extra for those. Got the logo on it. I needed them anyway. I was a happy guy. Uh, it worked out all right, but uh, you know, um, what can I say? Uh, what can I say? Uh, sorry, another guy's got to go. Uh, just going to report him. Oh, are we having fun today? Here we go. Report, report, report these guys and see if they get kicked off. Hopefully, they get kicked off. Uh, Steamy Bean, that T-shirt is from St. Thomas. Uh, here we go. They just keep on coming. They just keep on coming. One after the other i'm going to try this and see if that works and let's see if we can do this and why do the trolls do this i don't understand um oh, you know wendy it's kind of a game for these guys uh, they got nothing better to do um uh you know they've uh, they've seen all the porn they want to see for now and they're kind of tired so now they want to play games with uh, with live streamers and uh they find channels uh, where you know we're having uh, we're having uh, you know a nice conversation about what we want to talk about, and then they just want to play the little games and come in the middle of it. And they're talking to each other on the on the internet. One guy's at one mummy's house, the other guy's at the other mummy's house, the other guy's over at this guy's house, and they're saying, "Did you do that? I did that. I saw you do that. Oh, that's funny." And they're just uh, you know twelve to fifteen year old trolls got nothing better to do, uh, and that's what's going on. It's just part of the uh, you know unfortunately part of the game uh that's the way it is uh steamy bean let uh, let uh, you know we got to get a moderator heather young yes he needs a moderator uh that's the hope i have is that the channel gets so busy i will need a moderator and we'll handle all of this it's rare that this happens to us uh it's probably the first time in about three or four months i've had anyone do this but uh it's just the way it goes they come around and then they uh, they all uh, you know hit them uh we all need to click report and maybe when youtube gets a lot they'll be gone yeah uh report them all uh, that's what i say report them to the uh, to the authorities um, and I try to uh, eliminate them from the channel as well. Um, it's just the way this goes. And they do the same thing every time. It's the same thing every time. Uh, they say the same thing every time that they uh, that they come in. They have nothing new to say. They're just trying to uh, trying to get the host all riled up and uh, trying to get everybody mad at them. And, you know, because they don't care. They think they can't be found out. Uh, I think that as time goes by, YouTube will know where they are. <laughs> And uh, I think it will come a time where these guys are going to get a knock on the door. Uh, the server will be identified, and they'll track them right down because uh, I think that's the way it's going to head. Um, you know, here we go. We got another one. Uh, here we go. Um, get rid of this guy. Uh, so, you know, we'll just uh, – there'll be a point where these guys will have to answer to, uh, you know, really big people with uh, nightsticks. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, uh, Roger, um, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, I don't think, uh, Roger is, uh, a good guy, uh, I don't know who Roger Turby is, uh, yeah, we'll have to watch that one, 
<laughs> First, they sort of start off by saying, "Oh, hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. I'm sorry, chat." Then they come up with the questions with these uh, with these dirty little comments. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Some of these are already being blocked by YouTube, by the way. While I'm uh, while I'm talking to you. Um, yeah, I think we got to uh, we got to put some more out of their misery here. Here we go. There you go. That's the way it is. Gone, gone, gone. You're gone. That's unreal. But you know what are you gonna do? Um, all right. So we talked about casinos, so so odds. We talked about shopping events. Watch out for those. Uh, third thing, cruise lines kind of want you to ignore. Um, they really, uh, Mary Ellen, you're right. Uh, it's just terrible today. Uh, and Nina, I'll allow that message. <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, who is this guy? Yeah, the hamster. I don't think the hamster is uh, a friend of ours. Um, and uh, uh, just a minute. Uh, we'll cancel. What is this one here? Uh, no, I don't think I'm going to give this guy the moderator. I don't know who this guy is. <laughs> <laughs> now they're trying to become moderators of the channel. How about that? Wouldn't that be fun? Oh my goodness. Uh, such fun. Um, the next item up for discussion, I'm going to keep powering on here. Uh, what the cruise lines don't want you to uh, really pay attention to is the uh, fact that brochure prices from cruise lines aren't the actual prices that people pay for cruises. Have you ever noticed if you go to like vacationsgo.com and you take a look at the uh, the cost of a cruise, uh, it'll say that the price of the cruise is $2,500 uh, per person for a balcony, but the price that you can pay is $800 and you're saving 65%. No one pays the $2,500. I mean, if you pay that $2,500, you're crazy. You're, you're out of your mind. Uh, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, which is shopping around. That's, what I love. That's why I love sites like vacationstogo.com, other sites like that, or talking to a travel agent, because they can find you the real available price of the actual cruise you're looking for. <clears throat> they can also compare notes between one cruise line, another cruise line, and another cruise line with regard to the prices you really would need to pay rather regarding, as opposed to these brochure prices, which are fallacy, fantasy. They absolutely don't exist. Um, so you have to really be careful about this whole this whole deal. Steamy Bean, did you see that last vlog? I, I had you in it. I had you in it. Well, Steamy Bean, give the beauty badge to Sea Keeper. Uh, Tammy Ray just got back. I must be missing some troublemakers. You are, Debbie Manuel. What the quit live, ruining my live chats, morons. Steamy Bean, Deputy Badge. Right on, Debbie. Uh, Steamy Bean, but Bruce, uh, cruising in July or Christmas will cost you. <laughs> cool jazz. That That's batically the MSRP. Basically, yeah, that's right. The, basically, the MSRP for a car. Yeah, I mean, you look at some of these cruises that are on the, uh, on the um, you know, uh, advertised out there. If you play the prices right, for example, if you ever get on that show and they offer you a, a seven-day cruise on a Caribbean cruise ship from uh, Miami to the Caribbean and back, you have to say for two people, you've got to say it's five thousand dollars because you can't put the vacations to go price on there for seven hundred dollars each. You'll be way too low. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Lacassette. Who's Lacassette? These trolls have no lives, and I hope you to find them. I don't know who Lacassette is. Is that a new uh, subscriber or is that a troll there as well? See, now after a while, you don't know who's who, uh, who's real and who's Memorex. I, I'm, you know, because uh, I kind of know my regulars who are here all the time. Uh, <laughs> but once in a while, we get new subscribers, and I always like to give subscribers a chance to be new, uh, new viewers to be uh, to be here. Bruce, after the week Canadian dollar, my cruise cost me close to two grand for a solo cabin. Unbelievable. That's just insane, man. That's insane. Um, uh, I'm no troll. Hello, oh, that's great. Uh, I won't ban you if you're not a troll. Welcome to the show. Uh, let us know where you're from. What's your high temperature today? Uh, have you been on a cruise before? Uh, uh, what's your next cruise? Uh, love to have you here if you're for real. That would be fantastic. Um, just got to watch for uh, we got to keep an eye on them. Uh, that's what I got to do. Uh, that's what they all say. Sea Keeper says, Steamy Bean, that is Bermuda Bruce. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, yeah, what can I say? Uh, it's been one of those days. Uh, the other point I was going to make was uh, a cruise ship credit cards. All uh, not I don't know if every single line has a sponsored credit card or not, um, um, but we'll see. Uh, she, <laughs> she, and 
Shady's dude. If you're not a troll, donate. Who's Shady's dude? Who's Shady's dude? I don't know who that is. Uh, that could be another brand new uh, visitor to the channel or not. Uh, I noticed there's no photographs on their uh, on their uh, logos, uh, which is also kind of uh, telling sometimes. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, get rid of lack lack of set says Pam Pamela Jordan. She's not uh, she's not impressed with lack of set. Um, Lacazette, shut up, Pam. Oh, 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 Lacazette, you're gone. <laughs> Lacazette is out of here. You don't talk to Pam like that on my channel. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've been here before, Bruce. We had several conversations. Shady's dude, I still don't recognize you. I want to recognize you. Uh, Bruce, prices have risen and the deals are not as common as they once were, except for Alaska out of Vancouver. Uh, there's some good deals there. I was talking about this past weekend. Unbelievable. 199 cruises. I couldn't believe it. Uh, keeping an eye on this channel here. Um, cruise ship credit cards. Um, our Royal Caribbean has the Royal Rewards Visa. Uh, Carnival has the Fun Points MasterCard. Uh, Norwegian, World's Points MasterCard. Uh, Hall in America, Rewards Visa. Disney has Rewards Visa. Um, uh, Shady's Dude. I'm the guy that went on to the trans. Atlantic cruise last summer. What ship were you on? What ship were you on and how long was your cruise? Uh, fantastic. Let me know uh, what ship were you on and how long was your cruise? Um, the suggestion from the uh, from the experts out there is don't go with these uh, credit cards from the cruise lines. You only get a point for every dollar you spend. The point is worth a penny. Uh, and it's only good for, uh, uh, it's only good for um, um, the... Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, the uh, the uh, points are only good for the cruise line that you're going to be on. Uh, so you can't use them for any other cruises other than that. Uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, there we go. We're getting rid of this one. <laughs> Shady's dude is gone. <laughs> uh, yeah, here we go. There we are, Shady. Oh, Shady, Shady. Oh, my goodness. You're gone, Shady. Nina, Frank, uh, yeah, Demi, loser. Absolutely, these guys are losers. Uh, they're all losers, every one of them. Um, anyway, on these cruise on these uh, cruise credit cards, they say don't bother getting the cruise line credit cards. Go for something like uh, American Express, the American Express Blue Sky card. You get 1.5% cash back uh, uh, on Quicksilver Capital One's credit card. You get deals there as well, and you can use them on any cruise line you want. You get a better payoff for your uh, for your thing. So there you go. Uh, John B is saying, I just read today that go karts on Bliss went from seven bucks to nine ninety five. Really? I hadn't I hadn't heard that. Uh, that's uh, quite interesting. Uh, Titus shambles. I think uh, Titus is uh, trouble. Uh, see you, Titus. Uh, Steamy Bean. Those cars on the Bliss take up valuable space, but they make valuable money. I have to agree. Uh, cool Jazz. The interest rates are also are high. Also, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Cool Jazz. The, the interest rates on these credit cards are very high. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really bother with them. Um, I mean, uh, if you're a fan of one credit card company, go for it, but you're better off being a shareholder. You're just, you know, you're just better being a, a better off being a shareholder of the company than, uh, than anything else. Uh, let's see. Airline credit cards, uh, with sign up bonuses up to $500 are much better deals. Steve, you're absolutely right. I agree with you there. Cool jazz. The sky ride costs also, uh, interesting sky ride. Um, yeah, I mean, you can get some of these like American Airlines deals, uh, the credit cards or uh, United or, uh, or the other airlines. You can get some really good sign up bonuses. And I would, uh, I would take a look at it. Traveling a uh, steamer traveling with wheels are on the bliss and the vibe is open to only 40 passengers. I wonder if they're fading out the vibe. I don't know. And Jordan, the bliss is one amazing ship. Wendy Thompson. Oh brother. Trolls go back under the bridge. Uh, Jonesy Jones. Uh, here we go. Jonesy. Guess what? You're gone. Uh, Jonesy Jones, Jonesy Blues is no more. Uh, Wendy Thompson, oh brother, trolls go back under the bridge. Pam, uh, Paul, uh, here we go. We got another one. You're gone. And uh, what else we got? Nina, you can tell by their their names that they're not that they're trolls, and they have no picture. Um, Debbie was saying, I also saw that they added a mini golf course on top of the list somewhere between Miami and Seattle. Yes, I saw the Jim Zim video where Jim was saying that uh, they put a five-hole mini golf course up overnight or, or, or between one night and another night. Uh, there were these 
five golf holes all of a sudden showed up right beside the golf, the, the, the go-kart track up in the top deck. And uh, it's free to use it. Help yourself, apparently. But, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's George? Who's, who's George? Uh, who, who's George? Tammy Ray, I don't have a picture. <laughs> Tammy, it's okay. Uh, I trust you. Heather Young, I'm reporting them all. Thank you, Heather. Um, but uh, uh, Jim was saying that the golf uh, the golf course just showed up one night. Next thing you know, it was there. Amazing. Uh, Sea Keeper, I wonder if the vibe on the Bliss is handicapped accessible. The vibe on Getaway uh, was not. I mean, not at all. Even the use of the uh, service elevator, a box and all trolls. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, let's see here. Um, Mark, uh, yeah, Mark, you're gone. You're gone. You're gone, Mark. You're gone. Bye, Mark. Bye. Oh my goodness. And then we got another one. Uh, here's another one. They're just, they're just all over us today. Swarming us today. Uh, it's kind of good for my ratings, I guess. I guess I'm getting a lot of uh, watch time and a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of views, but, uh, stuff I don't need. Uh, this is kind of what I'm expecting YouTube to kind of help me with, uh, YouTube should be on top of these uh, morons and should be on top of this kind of behavior. And yet these guys exist and they thrive. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, the Bliss has 25 handicapped washrooms cruising with wheels. We're very positive about this, Steamer says. Cool jazz. We're going to have to sign in for tomorrow's show. Too much interruption. Uh, there you go. Paul Wilgus, I opened a Norwegian credit card. I got $300. If I spend $700 in the first three months, I put my cruise on it and I'm going to pay it off as soon as I get my credit. There you go, buddy. Well done, Paul. Uh, that's the way to do it if you're going to do it at all. Absolutely agree. Yeah, anyway, that was one of the subjects I had today about uh, about the cruising. There were four items that the cruise lines really don't want you to talk about or they want you to kind of just ignore these little titties. Ignore the fact that the casinos have a lousy payout. Ignore the fact that uh, shopping events are kind of, you know, expensive way to make them extra cash. They get kickbacks for that. Ignore the brochure price of the cruises. Ignore that. And uh, uh, cruise ships uh, credit cards are, are not the greatest deal of all time. They're okay, but there are no they're no screaming bargain. And uh, you're better off to uh, uh, get a credit card that gives you true cash back uh, and true award points you can use on airlines or cruises or anything else. Uh, really, that's what you want. Um, uh, let's see here. And Jordan, yes, uh, Nina, uh, ditto. Never seen anything like it. The Steamy Bean, yes, they had 123 watching their live cast. Uh, there you go. Um, there's a, we had a bunch of them here today. Was, I, we might be done with them. I don't know, but, uh, I've eliminated as many as I can, as quick as I can. I know you folks are reporting them, which I appreciate. If all of you folks report these guys, you just hit the little button to the side of their name off to the side of their message. You'll get a little button that pops up. You have the option to report them to YouTube. Let's do so. Steamy bean. Uh, yes, they're not great days for cruising. These are not great days for cruising deals. Um, yeah. Oh, the live cast would be uh, sorry. Steaming being some with the live cast with uh, with the wheels, the guys with wheels. Yeah, they 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 were live. Uh, stop molesting kids and hand yourself into the police. Here we go. Uh, oops, I want to I want to do that. I want to do this guy. Okay, save the live cast of the bliss. Uh, Kevin and Frank looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, saw it. Yeah, cool jazz. The stores on the ship may make it seem like the prices are <laughs> are so low, but in reality they're not. I agree. Um, sometimes you can get alcohol at a good price, like duty-free alcohol. Uh, just check the pricing and compare it to back home. Now, we in Canada, it's an easy bar for us. We Canadians will take a look at a, a bottle of, uh, of, uh, bark, uh, of uh, rum um, and uh, Bacardi rum, and uh, it'll be you know, half the price in Canada, maybe a third of the price. We're happy. But compared to a Costco in California, you might be the same as a Costco in California. There's no point in buying it. So some, depending on where you live in the States, uh, duty-free booze on a cruise ship is just no bargain. It's just no bargain for you. Uh, plus, you got to lug it around when you get off the ship, right? So you have to pay. You have to tolerate all that. Anyway, what am I going to What am I gonna do? Um, uh, yeah, what can I say? Today, we got 25 thumbs ups from, uh, from my uh, loyal followers. I appreciate that. Uh, and I appreciate all the thumbs ups I get. But uh, we've had some no morons here today. Steaming Bean, I never step foot in those stores, he says. <laughs> there you go. I know my wife uh, in St. Thomas. We went into uh, uh, a shop, a strip mall near the ship, and uh, she went and found some perfume she liked. And it was very affordable, a very good price. And she, she bought it. She was happy. Uh, and uh, she was able to buy it in a larger size container that she's used to at home, and it came in less than what she paid for the smaller container. So she was very pleased. Uh, but just buy one to take back with you, you know. Steamy Bean, the champagne at the art deals are the cheapest you will drink. It's kind of like, uh, oh, I don't know. It's, a, it's like a cheap sparkly wine, you know. 
app. Yeah, well, then what do you expect? What can you say? Uh, Debbie Manuel, thanks for saying I can report those bad entities on my phone as well. Yes, you can. Yeah, on your telephone, just go right over to the side, touch the side, little buttons will pop up. Touch those buttons and you have a menu of options. You can report them, you can hide them. Yep, I, I, I try to hide and or report them all and or ban them from my channel so they can't come back. Uh, by all means, do the same, folks. Uh, so far, for the last few minutes, it's been kind of quiet, but you know, they come in waves. <laughs> I just, you know, he's got it. He's got to go with it. But uh, the YouTube folks, I'm hoping that with their artificial intelligence and their uh, their uh, analytics and the enhanced security that they put in, uh, I hope they take care of people like this. I would love to be monetized. And, uh, you know, um, advertisers on this show, uh, I, I'm sure they're getting value. They'll get value for their money. Uh, and I hope that trolls like this get knocked out and just get eliminated from existence. But uh, they probably turn around every night and create five new channels every night. That's probably what these guys are doing. They get they get channels cut down, shut down. They start a new one. And for some reason, YouTube gets tricked into allowing them into another channel. Hopefully, they'll figure out a way to block that. And uh, we'll cross our fingers. But uh, at this point, that's the way it is. Uh, here we go. Um, we got another one here. Uh, hide this guy. So, you know, it's just the way it goes. Uh, Alex O'Hara, report Alex, everybody. Report him. Uh, there you go. Um, what can I say? <laughs> well, there you go. Um, I think we've had an okay show, apart from the last 20 minutes with these morons. Um, thank you for all your support on uh, Amazon. Thank you for uh, uh, going to uh, this link right here. Let me just pop it up. Here it is right here. Paste. There it is. There's my Amazon link. I just put it up. Thank you, everybody, for visiting me on uh, Amazon. Thank you for all the purchases so far. Um, a, a number of you have sent me private messages saying, I just bought something, watch for it, and I have, and it, they show up from time to time. Thank you for that. Um, I really appreciate all of you uh, uh, for, for coming by. I appreciate all of you when you uh, you help me with my uh, my PayPal account, you help me with my Super Chats, or you're, you're helping with Patreon, or with this these items. Fantastic. I love it. And thanks for watching the unboxing. Uh, get your own mugs and uh, whatever. That's fantastic. Uh, Peter Heckma, good show, Bruce, in spite of the trolls. Yeah, today was one of those days. Pamela Jordan, good night all. It's been an interesting one. See you all tomorrow. They took up half the time, small ass beeves. <laughs> I'm on tomorrow twice, uh, 5 and 8 o'clock. Uh, so all you trolls out there, I'll be on at 5 and 8 tomorrow. Come by. I'll keep reporting you. Uh, hey, Bruce, see you soon. Don't let those buggers get you in the show now. Not even a chance, my friend. I, I got other problems to deal with. This, this is nothing. These guys are punks. Uh, don't let the buttholes bring you down. Not a problem. Um, they, it's all right. They'll be off pretty soon. They got to go to their mommy and get something to eat. Mommy's making them craft dinner. They're going to be fine. Um, yeah, what can I say? Uh, Bruce, please get the get a moderator. Heather Young, hope you have a good night, everybody. Have a good night, everyone, yourselves. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow at 5 o'clock uh, to eat, eat tomorrow night. And uh, we'll do another show then, and I'm sure we'll be just fine. Um, anybody have any comments or questions? You let me know on the comments down below. Blaine, we'll see you. Heather, Stephen Bean, Wendy, Iskew, Nina, everybody, have a great evening tonight. Pamela, you too. Tammy Ray, Stephen Bean. <laughs> uh, good night, folks. Lisa, bye all. Thanks for popping in, you guys. Thanks for the thumbs ups. Have a pleasant evening. We'll see you tomorrow, 5 o'clock. This is Bruce saying thanks for joining me on Traveling with Bruce. June the 4th, 2018. Goodbye, trolls, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care, everybody.